Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new, welcome. There's been quite a few new people join recently so that is extremely pleasing to me. Thank you very much all the new people and thank you all the not new people for sticking around. Today we are going to be doing this eye look and it's based on the colours in this beautiful headband which features Death's Head Moths, which is easy for me to say. Um, and I'm going to be chatting about headbands, headscarves, how I got to be um, interested in headscarves, how I got no hair to start off with, because a lot of people say you know you're not goth enough because you haven't got masses of raven tresses and i say to them you but anyway we're all goth enough if we want to be is my view and i can say that because i'm old and don't care anymore anyway if you would like to see how i got this delightful and quite different i think makeup look then do please keep on watching. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do before I start chatting and lose my place is a prime with a bit of Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I just sent off for some more of this because I do find it is incredibly useful. And it is specially made to do this job. I mean, it's all very well using concealer but concealer is very moisturizing and hydrating and the thing with eyelids is that they tend to produce quite a lot of oil and moisture all on their own without you having to do anything so that's that and i'm just going to do my waterline with a bit of catrice 18 hour color and contour which i like very much anyway so the whole point of this video is that things come together in coincidences when you never really think about them and then you look back and you think gosh that was an interesting combination of events or thoughts or moments and this week I was thinking about the way that the death's head moth on this scarf has come together with the death's head moth logo on the um, moon occult jewellery that I did the other week and it started me thinking about all sorts of different things and this beautiful beautiful headband was sent to me by my friend from Germany um, who I will link her Instagram so that you can um, go and follow her and we met not in real life but we met virtually um, when I had no hair. Now some of you may know that I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2016, had some surgery and then in 2017 had some chemotherapy and some radiotherapy as well but hey ho and of course chemotherapy makes your hair fall out and I was bald for quite some time I will insert some photographs um, I made some new friends and I made some headscarves And I did spend quite a lot of time thinking about, oh, can I go out with no hair? What am I going to look like? That sort of thing. Um, I was using my Stargazer white powder there just to set the eyeliner. And in case my friend and inspirational muse, Missa, is watching, yes, this look is inspired by something you did on Friday. So 
I'm going to now turn to my BH Cos Be Perfect, sorry, Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette by Stacey Marie. And I'm also going to use my Revolution Pro Strobe palette because it's got a nice brown here and obviously I haven't really got very many browns and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use the colours of the headband to make an eye look anyway um, what was I saying oh yes so I met um, lovely Gabby from Germany online she wears lots of lovely headscarves and turbans and wigs and various things. I did, well, I still have got a wig, but I don't really wear it very often. It's black. Um, I wore it mostly when I was actually bald. Um, and had to go places and do things but then I started to wear scarves instead and I sort of preferred it really as I say I've still got the wig I keep meaning to take it up to the um, cancer place and donate it but it's a bit of a way and I never get round that part of town just in the normal course of events yeah, so um, Gabby from Germany gave me this, and I just love it to pieces. Um, Death's Head Moth. A lot of people don't know, they really do look like that in real life. Um, and I started following these people on Instagram called Moth Monday? Monday Moth? Something like that. And they basically put a picture of a moth up every Monday, and they're beautiful. Because, yes, butterflies are lovely, but... Um, Moths are lovely too, and of course they come out at night, so that's more sort of on brand, if you like. So I'm now I'm switching from um, Tahiti into this um, contour palette, just to brown up the brown a bit more, and I'm sweeping it out to the edge. I have got a blending brush here as well, just to get the edges going. And I will also do a tiny, tiny bit of black, just a tiny bit, just to give it a bit of depth in the corner and not be sort of like totally brown. Yeah, so anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I had this um, breast cancer and um, made all these new friends by joining a group who were exercising through their cancer. Some of them were learning to run. Me and this other girl, lovely girl Jo, who wrote this book, which will be coming out this year, hopefully, um, about our it's a novelization of our running journey. Um, yeah, she and I were still having our chemo and the others had finished theirs and we were all training to run the Brighton Marathon 10K in the April, which was when I finished, well, I finished my chemo at the end of April um, and the 10K was like at the beginning. So it was still quite... Um, quite a hard thing to do run 10k with chemotherapy in your system so yeah so that was a job and a half I can tell you but the um, lovely people at Brighton Marathon gave my husband the chance to run with me because well he's obviously supported me in everything and is an absolute rock don't know how I would have got through without him to be fair he 
well, you know that saying, they broke the mould when they made you. I don't think they even had a mould. I think they just made him by hand. Um, yeah, <laughs> he was wonderful. And he ran it with me as well as the other girls. I mean, the other girls were mainly faster than me. I'm not the fastest runner in the world. I used to be quite fast once upon a time, but um, not so much now, especially not with the new hip. I know, falling to pieces or what. Um, so I'm still in the Stacey Marie palette in case you were wondering and um, trying to get it to match. As you know, if you've watched before, what's the word? Symmetrical. Symmetrical looks are sort of tricky, but um, today I've decided to do my right eye instead of my left eye on camera because I think it'd be easier for you to see and for some reason it tends to be the easier eye to do. I don't know why. So we blend, we blend, we try and take a little bit of hair out put it up there. Um, we blend and take it as far as it would like to go up to the edge. Yeah so we did um, the Brighton Marathon 10k and it was the hardest race I've ever done in my whole life and you know I used to be an ultra runner and Run, runs and races that were longer than marathons so that was sort of saying something but these are the things in life that you realise you've just got to do because if you don't when you get to the end you'll go you know I don't regret the things I have done but I do regret the things I haven't done not my phrase, I know, but it's true. It's really true. So I think we are reasonably there with that. So just a tiny bit more of a blend up to here. Yep, there. And now we're going to do the fun glittery part. So glitter glue, here it is. Barry M Glitter Fixer back to the magnifying mirror. I'll try and stay where you can see me and oh I better. This is what I'm going to use this glittery stuff is called Heartbreaker. It's by the Pastel Roses. It's a little sort of I'll put a close-up in at some stage and you can see it but it's just oh that's a point. I did put a bit of um, Stacy Marie glitter down initially I remember now because I did it with my finger and then a little bit of brushwork there use a little bit of primer water on the brush which I have standing by in the lid of the primer water just to make it a little bit more there because as everybody who's ever used makeup knows you use glitters and shimmers wet and they will reward you for doing so so try and get that up there yep yeah, there we go so Barry M glitter fixer gel nice small brush Put it where you want it to be so it's sort of like a cut crease but it isn't because you haven't drawn a, a line that you have to fill in and then I get my pastel roses amazing glittery stuff 
try not to breathe because it doesn't weigh anything, it just floats in the air. And you could inhale it if you weren't careful. Yeah, so as I was saying, headscarves, yeah, I um, I met some very lovely people while I was ill and I was recuperating and couldn't work. Um, lots of people at our local um, Horizon uh, Macmillan Cancer Centre helpfully putting on events for people going through chemotherapy, different sorts of um, yoga classes you can do and aromatherapy that you can have and you meet people that have different styles and looks and just try and be nice to everybody who you meet there because everyone's in the same boat or a similar boat and some people deal with it by overdressing and some people deal with it by not dressing up at all so as I've said before on this channel it's not what happens it's how you deal with what happens so what we're going to do now is take our NYX liquid liner, vinyl liquid liner, and just do the tiniest breathe in. Oh, it's slightly bigger than the other one, that's annoying. Oh well. It's not the end of the world, is it? And then I'm going to take my Helene Cosmetics. Sorry, that flashed rather. Helene Cosmetics um, pigment and some... Mayron mixing liquid and an art syringe and put a little bit of mixing liquid into a little bit of pigment powder and I've got two different brushes here art brushes, nail brushes, I can't remember but one is slightly thicker than the other now oh, this is where it's all going to go horribly wrong. I think it's not as bad as it could be. I really do. Back to the magnifying side. Oh. If you are any good at this, you'll be laughing your socks off at me now because really difficult. This is the first time I've done one of these um, coloured eyeliner lines that everyone's doing at the moment and it's so much more difficult than it looks. Yeah, I haven't practiced this at all, which some might say is foolish, but I like you to see it happening in real time and real life and <sighs> there we are that 
I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. So I'll just fill in that bit a bit more with the slightly thicker brush. Highly recommend these Helene pigment um, powders, by the way. Um, even if you have got a steadier hand than, well, you probably have got a steadier hand than me. You've definitely probably got less wobbly skin than me. Um, they really are very good and very inexpensive as well. Um, so that's that, that's that. Um, I'm using my Lash Princess, so I will put some mascara on and put my lash on and I will come back and we will decide what sort of lip to put on in a moment. Right, second lash successfully on. I also decided that I would just have gems on the one side. Um, like I have a star sometimes on one side. I just thought I'd have the gems on one side. They're just sticky gems that I've had for a thousand years. I, back from when, well you probably don't remember when people used to do <laughs> sticking them all over themselves. Now this lipstick, I've decided to go with a black lip. Um, because there is quite a lot of black in here, as well as the lovely sort of, um, what should we call that, tobacco-y, I don't want to say brown, because brown is such a boring, horrid colour, but that's a nice sort of sepia-y colour, and as well as the pinks and the purples. So I'm going to do a nice black lip with my KVD Vegan Beauty Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Witches. highly recommend this lipstick. I've got about four or five different colours, all very good. I do understand that you can still, you can get them in boots nowadays, um, which um, somebody said, I don't know if that's true or not, let me know. There we have it, the final look. Um, so it's all thanks to my lovely friend Gabby for sending me this beautiful headband and to, for her to make me think about colour and headbands and head coverings and head scarves and all the things that we go through to bring us to where we are and I'm at one end of the scale of things and lovely um, Azaria Moonstone who designed these um, Moon Occult jewellery. She's at the other end of life. She's only very young but I urge you to support her too. Um, and it just remains for me to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you don't mind me chatting away. Um, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up whether you liked it or not. Just give it a thumbs up that's all I'm saying and um, subscribe please if you wouldn't mind that would be lovely and just stay safe be careful if you are staying away from people and you've got um, very little to do if you haven't got the um, I was going to say distraction or annoyance or blessing of having to work from home then have a go at doing some different things. Make some jewellery. Make some slippers. <laughs> Make yourself up. Go through your wardrobe. Toss out the things you haven't worn for years unless you absolutely know you're going to wear them to an event next year or this year. And don't forget everybody, stay strange. <laughs>